Hey, Chris Leslie, uh, Bell County Judge David Blackburn says he, earlier he went out and saw the damage himself, and he says it's devastating. Another trooper here this evening also told me he doesn't even recognize the area. What we do know is that they are expecting that the tornado was on the ground for at least seven miles, and so far they have at least 23 injuries. We do know that 12 of those injuries were transferred to a local hospital, and one of those remains in serious condition tonight. Uh, we did ask about what what kind of resources are going to be available to, for Bell County residents uh, in the coming days? They did offer an emergency shelter for those that needed it, but so far no one has said that they needed that and they will keep working with Bell County residents if any uh, any situations do come forward in the next coming days. They did also say that this is going to take several days to clean up. They have crews out there tonight working overnight, cleaning up debris, power lines down, cleaning up rubble from many houses that have also been destroyed. But they said it's going to take several days and they're going to probably be learning a lot more in the next coming days about where this tornado actually touched down, where it came from, where it ended, and a lot more other details. So um, they said they will probably be providing another update for us in the morning. Uh, so we're be, we'll be looking forward to hearing from them then. But for now, that's all we really know. We're going to have more updates coming to you on our website, kcntv.com, and also on Texas Today starting at 4.30 a.m. sharp. I'm going to send it back to you guys. Reporting live in Bell County, I'm Bailey Bates for 6 News. Yeah, Bailey, this was a strong storm and it really packed a wallop, so yeah. we're going to have a lot to sort through, Leslie. Seven miles on the ground for yeah. seven miles. So, uh, again, more information for you on the 6 News app and on our website. We'll be right back.